All right. So I'd like to welcome everybody here to the 35th MCOE Science Fair Award Ceremony. And we do have uh, some great people today on here. Um, the first is going to be starting us off is our superintendent of schools, Michelle Hutchins. Michelle, please go ahead and take it away. Thank you very much, Shane. So welcome to the Mendocino County Science Fair. In today's era, education is not confined to reading and writing. It's now linked to the holistic development of children. Education has focused on making every child knowledgeable. And today, even with the challenges and the demands of the pandemic and our new market, we're not limited to just having knowledge. It's how one can present that knowledge and what one can do with that knowledge. This is the reason that MCOE is leaving no st stone unturned to help students experiment with their knowledge and providing them different opportunities to showcase their skills. Today's event is an example of those opportunities. MCOE organizes countywide exhibitions to enhance students' knowledge and make learning a fun experience. Science embedded with creativity has a vital role to play in progressive development and thus is very important to enhance the interest of students in science and technology. One of the best ways to do this is by organizing science fairs in schools. A science fair is a wonderful tool that engages students in learning new facts. It develops in them curiosity to learn more, which otherwise is not developed to just listening to lectures. It provides a platform for students to use their scientific knowledge and to bring the best invention from their brains. It also allows students to work together in groups and learn from each other. They share their ideas and collectively galvanize ideas to bring something innovative into the implementation. This further allows students to develop their social and moral skills and makes them a better team player. Science exhibitions help to explore creative talent. It pushes students to think outside the box. Students enjoy learning through exhibitions as they put effort, they make models with their own hands, they give presentations in, in these exhibitions, and they become most familiar with public speaking, removes their stage fright and impacts self-confidence. It encourages them to ask more questions and address their curiosities. These exhibitions help develop in students a more scientific attitude towards problems and challenges that they face in life. This is most needed today in our pandemic. Students apply classroom knowledge in these exhibitions and develop a taste for learning by doing this. It shifts them away from theoretical study to implementation in a practical way and they are able to utilize their unique ideas. Once they transform an idea into project, they showcase it, they acknowledge and get acknowledgement, which further boosts their confidence, which basically says that these exhibitions make students more confident, more creative, future ready, and of course, learners for life. So I really wanna thank the following extraordinary work for the following people that have gone through to make this event occur. Our judges, our MCOE staff, our science fair coordinators, teachers, family members, and of course, our students. So thank you very much for attending today's virtual celebration and welcome. I wanted to make sure that everybody understood and knew who was going to be speaking today and the people behind this. My name is Shane Hildebrand. I am a director at MCOE as a continuous improvement director. You also hear from EJ Renner. He's one of our specialists and you'll have some, we have some guest presenters for their um, special awards as well and they will introduce themselves. Um, so 
without any further ado, we're going to get into this and we're going to show a quick little video about what some of your students have been doing this past year with Science Fair. All right, well, thank you so much to uh, Malia Myers who put that together. And you can see that our kids have been up to a lot uh, this year in science fair. So we wanted to go ahead and get started with some of the awards. So you're gonna be able to see that we have three different levels of awards for our different groupings. 
Um, we have superior, ribbon of superior, ribbon of excellence, and ribbon of achievement. Um, we're going to start with the, dis the display and exhibition awards. Now, these awards are granted based off of the scores they got from judging. So first, we're going to start with the ribbon of superior. And I will apologize uh, beforehand if some of my uh, pronunciations of your names are errant. Oh, I'm so sorry for that. But here we go. So display and exhibitions award. We have first ribbon of superior goes to Jessette Hennekin and Celine Long for germs in your house, instilling goodness and developing virtue. And uh, hold on one second. I am going to go to the next one, which is for Sophia Nia for Why is California Burning in the Sherwood uh, Willett School? I do apologize. I've been asked to um, reshare my screen with everyone after I get it into a different mode so everybody can see it better. Apologize. Here we go. All right, the next is for the Ribbon of Excellence. This Ribbon of Excellence goes to Julianne Griffin for what is radiation from the Willits Charter. Congratulations, Julianne. The next okay. excellent Ribbon of Excellence is for Kobe Hall, the Traveling Aurora at Willits Elementary Charter. The next ribbon of excellence goes to Ember Hetherington for See You Later Carburetor from Willits Elementary Charter. The next ribbon of excellence goes to Harper Olson for Van Gogh 2.0, Willits Elementary School Charter. The next ribbon of excellence goes to Soren Penelli for Power Plants from Willits Charter. The next ribbon of excellence goes to Mackenzie Seafelt for Why Do Cat's Eyes Glow in the Dark from Marina Union Elementary. The next ribbon of excellence goes to Damien Vale for Magnetic Force Vortex, Ukiah Independent Study Academy. All right, so let us hear it for the Ribbon of Excellence. Good job. The next is Yay. the Ribbon of Achievement. <laughs> ribbon of Achievement Awards, first one. Cheyenne Barney for the fruit of fungi in Mendocino and Willits Charter. Congratulations. Next ribbon of achievement goes to Zoe Bigelow for an examination of the effects on local communities due to the removal of Scott's Dam from Willits Charter. The next river ribbon of achievement goes to Brian Bowles for a chicken egg pigmentation from Sherwood Schools in Willits Unified. The next ribbon of achievement goes to Zoyana Gallops for egg in the bottle from Bechtel Grove Middle School. The next ribbon of achievement goes to Chara Kirby for How Does the Heart Work from Marina Union Elementary. The next ribbon of achievement goes to a team, Adiga Silvera, Valerie Modern, and Lillian Legris 
for Lava Lamp Heart Lamps from Blosser Lane Elementary. I do apologize for the name pronunciation. The next ribbon of achievement goes to James Madsen for the life cycle of a mushroom from Sherwood Willets. The next ribbon of achievement goes to Alexander Mia, Mia, Mia for how do computers compute from Sherwood Willets. The next ribbon of achievement goes to Arabella Mondo for Lemon Power from Blosser in Willits. The next ribbon of achievement goes to Jael Orsini for Does an Animal Have a Reaction If I Play Music in Front of Them from Arena Union Elementary. The next ribbon of achievement goes to Brian Villa Gomez for homemade lava lamp from Marina Elementary. The next ribbon of achievement goes to Julianne Villa Gomez for mummifying a hot dog from Marina Elementary. And thank you so much. Let's hear it for the display and exhibition category. Great job. Good job. So our next award is a special award given out by the Hoplin Research Center. And we have a special guest today to give out this award. Thanks so much, Shane. Um, yeah, my name is Hannah. I am the community educator here at the Hopland Research and Extension Center. And um, I was thrilled to see the entries this year to the science fair. And I had a panel of judges made up of our volunteers, um, Bert Carlson, Dr. Bert Carlson, Chuck Vaughan and Rachel Chavez, and they worked hard to make selection. Um, so we had some incredible, we had a really hard time making a decision. Um, Ultimately, we chose Connor Quigley um, with the project, which house siding is the most fire resistant? Um, and we'll be excited to um, send Connor a wildlife trail camera and have Connor and his family out for a visit here to um, meet with some of the researchers who study here for the University of California. But we did also want to give special commendation to Eddie Bauer for the wildest wildfire project of them all exploring plant growth and unburned coastal hills in Sonoma. Um, this was also a fabulous project that showed the kind of really intricate observation. So we um, are looking forward to welcoming Eddie for a visit out here with um, their family as well. Thanks so much, Shane. Thank you, Hannah. Great job, you guys. So the next group that we're going to be uh, celebrating is Class A Elementary Division. Class A is the scientific um, method uh, group. So this is the majority of the projects that we're getting in. There is a Class B, which is the more of the engineering um, aspect of that. Uh, but this is the elementary division. This is grades three through five. And we're going to start with the uh, ribbon of superior. So the first ribbon of superior goes to Broax Bowles, Bowles for a dog's favorite color from Blosser Lane Elementary. The next ribbon of superior goes to Autumn Brockman for pH of water in Brooks Trails, California at Sherwood Schools in Willits. The next ribbon of superior goes to Jameson Matheson for cold versus warm crystal growing from Blosser Lane Elementary. The next ribbon of superior goes to Ayana Adams for the rise and fall of water temperature from Blosser Lane Elementary. The next ribbon of superior goes to Asher Mansfield for what causes green flames from Blosser Lane Elementary. The
The next goes to Adeline France for types of cats who likes to sit in boxes from Willits Elementary Charter School. The next ribbon of superior goes to Esteban Orozco for battery voltage from River Oak Charter School. The next ribbon of superior goes to Casey Maynard for Are Your Hands Really Clean? River Oak Charter School. The next ribbon of superior goes to Ocean Shattuck for mag magnet powered rockets from River Oak Charter School. And that was all of our ribbon of superiors for the elementary division class A. We next want to celebrate the ribbon of excellence award for class A elementary school. The first goes to Savannah Rohrbaugh for Do Cats Have a Paw Preference from River Oak Charter School. The next goes to Taylor Thorpe for Borax Slime versus Contact Lens Solution Slime, which is stretchier from Arena Elementary. Now we'd like to celebrate the Ribbon of Achievement Awards for the elementary division. The first goes to Daisy Collins for water balloons with household items from Blosser Lane Elementary. The next comes from Kaylee Medina Goana for blowing up a balloon with baking soda and vinegar from Marina Elementary. All right, thank you so much. We do are gonna take a little pause from the category awards and give out a couple of special awards right now. And this will be done by EJ Renner, EJ. Thank you, Shane. Gives me great pleasure to announce our winners of the Paul Jones Poulton Avant-Garde Award. And our first winner goes to Savannah Rorabaugh for Do Cats Have a Paw Preference from River Oak Charter School. Our next Paul Jones Poulton Avant-Garde Award goes to Adeline France for types of cats who like to sit in boxes, also from Willits Elementary Charter School. So thank you, Savannah. Thank you, Adeline, for representing each of your schools uh, and for winning these special awards for thinking outside of the box. I just have to mention having known John Pol Jones Polton and having worked with him, he would have very much appreciated both of those projects personally. <laughs> so thank you, those are appropriately awarded. Thanks guys. Yes, those were uh, awesome projects. And I did wanna say right now that after this, or actually during this, if you want to go look at some of these projects, all these projects are up on the showcase on the Z Fairs website, and we will show you that website um, at the end of this as well. We can go back to that page where that website is and, and get everything ready for you. So you can explore your students' awards, and you can look at other people's awards and how, they're, how they did as well. So moving forward, we're going to do the class A junior and senior division. So the junior division makes up sixth through eighth grade and the senior division is ninth through 12 high school level. Um, but the, these are judged at the same um, category at the state fair. And so we wanted to do that here at the county fair as well. So the first we're going to go into is the ribbon of superior. 
The first ribbon of Superior Award goes to Connor Quigley for which house siding is the most fire resistant from St. Mary's of the Angels. The next ribbon of Superior goes to Tyler Knight for to drink or not to drink from Laytonville Elementary School. The next is Sophia Baccaro for The Effect from Willits Charter School. The next ribbon of Superior goes to Eddie Bauer for The Wildest Wildfire Project of Them All, exploring plant growth in burned and unburned coastal hills in Sonoma County, California from Bauer Homeschool. The next ribbon of Superior goes to Abigail Scherf for Which Wax Works Well from Willits Charter School. Yes, I had to practice that one. The next ribbon of Superior goes to Kyler Hall for Wasting Wabbits from Willits Charter School. The next ribbon of Superior goes to Yifan Chan for cooling properties and freezing times of various water temperatures from Ukiah Independent Study Academy. The next ribbon of Superior goes to Yi Kit Chan for observing trends and correlations in sleep quality and stress of students immersed in different mode of instruction and learning from Instilling Goodness, Developing Virtue Schools. And the next we want to celebrate are the Ribbon of Excellence Awards. The first is Danielle Skinner, Best Hatched By from Laytonville Elementary School. The next Ribbon of Excellence goes to Aiden Lockwood Chanel for Weeding Out Roundup from Willits Charter School. The next ribbon of excellence goes to Vada Morgan for Oil Spill Cleanup from Willits Charter School. The next ribbon of excellence goes to Alexandra Ramos for Toddler Choice from Bechtel Grove Middle School. The next ribbon of excellence goes to Ruby Don Donhauer for How Color Affects Temperature, Point Arena Elementary School. And the last section for class A is the Ribbon of Achievement Award. The first goes to Kale Finnessy for which, which kitchen trash bag has the best durability for its value from St. Mary's of Angels. The next goes to Adelaide Ross for are students more focused on distance learning or in school? from St. Mary's of the Angels. The next goes to a team project. Do different liquids affect our body cells and can the effects be reversed? By Caleb Hubley, Stephen Dunningcliffe, and Bodie Goer from St. Mary's of the Angels. The next ribbon of achievement goes to Ayana Wright for Happy Health Succulents from Sherwood School. And the next ribbon of achievement goes to Gabriela Aguilar and Rosie Aguilar Via Gomez for Music and the Heart Rate from Arena Elementary. The next ribbon of achievement goes to James Martin for copper electroplanting coins from St. Mary's of the Angels. The 
The next ribbon of achievement goes to Austin Ross. Are students more focused on distance learning or in school? From St. Mary's of the Angels. The next ribbon of achievement goes to Dylan Buckingham for Puppy Love, Willits Charter School. And that is it for Class A. We're going to take a little break from the categories and give another special award out. PJ. Thank you again, Shane. So our next award is the Evelyn Smith Excellence in Science Award. And this year, this award is presented to Logan Devine for Can Deleted Files Be Recovered from Willits Charter School. Thank you, Logan. Perfect, thank you so much. Now we're gonna be starting class B, the junior and senior division. This is a class that's based around the engineering uh, work and there are still three levels again, superior, excellence and achievement. So the first is the ribbon of superior. The first one goes to Logan. Vine for can deleted files be recovered from Willits Charter School. The next ribbon of superior goes to Leo Estrada for the spud that could from Arena Elementary. And the next ribbon of superior goes to Chloe Nurath from for bombs away from Laytonville Elementary School. Now we're going to celebrate the Ribbon of Excellence Award in the Class B. First goes to Molly Kal Kaluna Jones for what materials block Wi-Fi signals from St. Mary's of the Angels. The next Ribbon of Excellence Award goes to Jade Laharus for personal hotspot from Eagle Peak Middle School. The next ribbon of excellence goes to Enzo Vaccaro for Let It Glow, Willits Charter School. The next ribbon of excellence goes to Hunter Paris for Autonomous Line Following Cars, Willits Charter School. And now the Ribbon of Achievement Awards for Class B. Jonah Myers and Evan Lodge in Mechanical Pellet Stove Concept for St. Mary's of the Angels. Now we'd like to finish off with some special awards as well as announcing the state finalists for this year. We'll start with the CAPS Award, EJ. Thank you, Shane. So our next Two awards are in the specialist category. And our first one, again, is the California Association of Professional Scientists, also known as the CAPS Award. And this year it goes to Yi Kit Chan for the project of observing trends and correlations in sleep quality and stress of students immersed in different mode of instruction and learning from Instilling Goodness, Developing Virtual Schools. Thank you, Yi. And our next special award goes to two Outstanding Young Scientists Award. And our first one goes to Aiden Lockwood Chanel for Weeding Out Roundup from Willits Charter School. And our second, Outstanding Young Scientist Award goes to Casey Maynard for Are Your Hands Really Clean? from River Oak Charter School. 
So thank you, Aiden, and thank you, Casey. I'm going to turn it back over to Shane for our state finalists. All right, thank you, EJ. Um, for our state finalists, we did want to have our superintendent of schools, Michelle Hutchin, who's going to announce the state finalists. Um, we had 10 available spots um, this year. And so hopefully with um, the performance of our students, we'll continue to get more and more spots at the state finals. And, but we are proud to send these 10 finalists to the state. Michelle. Thank you, Shane. It's my pleasure to announce the state finalists this evening. Hard work, you know, really done by all the students that we're about to list or announce. So our first state finalist is Abigail Scherf for Which Wax Works Well. And yes, Shane, I did not practice that. <laughs> From the Willits Charter School. Again, congratulations, Abigail, for which wax works well. And then Eddie Bauer with the wildest wild, wildfire project of them all, exploring plant growth in burned and unburned coastal hills in Sonoma County, California, from the Bauer Home School. Again, congratulations, Eddie. Lee Fan Chan, cooling properties and freezing times of various water temperatures from the Ukiah Independent Study Academy. Congratulations, Yi. Connor Quigley, with which house siting is the most fire resistant? Again, congratulations, Connor, from St. Mary of the Angels. Logan Devine, how deleted files can be recovered from Willits Charter School. Congratulations, Logan. Danielle Skinner from Best, with the project Best Hatched By, from Laytonville Elementary School. Congratulations, Danielle. And Tyler Knight, to drink or not to drink from Laytonville Elementary School. Congratulations, Tyler. And to Aiden Lockwood Chanel, from Willits Charter School with the project Weeding Out Roundup. Congratulations, Aiden. And Yi Kit Chan, observing trends and correlations in sleep quality and stress of students immersed in different, in different modes of instruction and learning from the Instilling Goodness Developing Virtue Schools. Congratulations, Yi. And Kyler Hall with Wasting Wabbits from Willits Charter School. Congratulations, Kyler. And again, what a great group of projects to be sending to the state fair. I am so proud of the hard work of those 10 students. Thank you for the hard work that you put in and representing our county with such bright minds. Thank you, Superintendent Hutchins. We wanted to thank everybody, all the teachers, all the parents, all the students, all the coordinators who made this possible. And we wanted to let you know again that we are, we have all of the projects up on the showcase on the website. Um, we will be reaching out to all of the finalists, the state finalists with information about the next steps. And we will also be sending out all the awards via mail to your schools uh, to be collected. So thank you guys so much for your participation. And if you wanted to hang around for a few moments, we'll put up the website uh, in just a moment. So thank you so much and have a, a lovely rest of the afternoon, rest of the evening, 
and congratulations to all of those who participated and for all of those award winners. Thank you. One last thing, if anybody's still on, I did want to say that this website is connected to the MCOE uh, website as well. You'd be able to find it under the Science Fair uh, tab on our website, mcoe.us. Thank you.